Facebook, YouTube, what's going on? She got Professor Smell Good coming to you guys live here at my shop, 700 Shane in East Lafayette, inside of the Family Fair Marketplace. All right, today what we're going to do, we're going to talk about, and I'm going to extract some principles. You already know I'm going to extract some principles from every, every single situation, circumstance, scenario. Good morning. And it's a guy that goes by the name of Bone Collector, right? If you don't know who Bone Collector is, Bone Collector is from California originally, right? But he went to New York, he stayed there, played at Rucker Park, street basketball player, and he got a name for himself, and they called it the Bone Collector. Now, why and how did he get the name Bone Collector, okay? Bone Collector is known for the handles, quick handles, all right? Get you off balance type of handles, he's known for that. He went to Rucker Park. His first game in Rucker Park, his very first game in Rucker Park, he crossed the guy. He crossed the guy over. Very, very first game in Rucker Park, he crossed, he crossed the guy over, right? And the guy fell back towards the gate. He crossed him. My man fell on he fell, he fell, hurt his, he fell on the gate and hurt his back on the gate. He hurt his back real bad. That's the first game. Second game, you know what I'm saying? He danced with it doing his moves, and he threw it between my man's legs. And my man tried to catch the ball before it went through his legs, and he touched the ground and he broke his finger. We're talking about the defender, not not the offensive player. The defender. We tried to guard bone, guard bone collector. Bone collector threw it through his legs, and then he tried to hurry up and catch it before it went through his legs, and he touched the ground and he broke his finger. That's the second incident that happened. That's the second game. All right, have a good one. Third game. A guy was trying to guard Bone Collector full court. But, you know, the one-on-one, you know, tight defense, right? Full, a full court press, man-to-man. -man. I mean, a uh, man-to-man, -man, full court. He played in full court just like that, right? Really tight pressure. Bone Collector broke him down. My man hurt his hamstring, all right? The fourth, fourth game... Each and every single game, the three games, the ambulance came three games, okay? The fourth day, the fourth day they had a game, ambulance came and just stood right there and parked right in front of the game. Nothing happened. Why? Because they said, you know what, this guy, he's the bone collector. He's the bone collector. He break people down and, he, and, and you know, when you fit, when you guard him, when you guard him, he break the, he break the defense down and... As a result of that, the consequences is somebody get hurt, somebody get injured trying to guard him. And so the ambulance said, you know what, we might as well stay here because he's going to break somebody down. Somebody's going to get hurt, right? Somebody's going to get an ankle broke. Somebody's going to break their finger. Hamstring is, uh, hamstring is uh, uh, torn. You know, how's it going? Now pull a muscle, something. How's it going? Hurt their back. Something is going to happen. You know, so we might as well wait here so when it, when it happens... You know, they don't have to actually call us right here, okay? What's the principles that I'm extracting from this? You can't give you, I always say, you can't give yourself a name, right? Even when it comes to the oils, you just can't give yourself a name. You got to earn that name, okay? People have to see you doing something in and out, in and out, day by day, right? Sit five, or five to seven days a week, they have to see you. Constantly doing something and they say, you know what, you such and such. I got the I got the title, Professor Smell Good, as I always tell you guys, is because a guy named Ralph, he saw me, he was like, Man, listen, man, you you know your stuff when it comes to these oils. How you doing? You know your stuff when it comes to these oils and you know how to sell these oils. You know what everybody likes. You can look at a person, you can say he gonna like this. And eighty percent of the time you're right. So you the professor smell good. You the professor smell good. And so I took that name, I ran with it, put the lab coat on, put the label right here. And so from, from there on, you know, that, that name pretty much stuck with me. Um, I still got a guy, and actually people give me different names. I got different names that people give me. All right, now, so Professor Smellgood is well known. But before, before Professor Smellgood, everybody called me the oil man. Okay, the oil man. Um, now, I'm really known as Professor Smellgood, but people, some people call me Mr. Smellgood. And I say I'm not, but they say, well, listen, I'm calling you Mr. Smell Good. One guy called me Dr. Mix Doctor, okay? Um, <laughs> I got a lot of names that people call me, but Professor Smell Good is my name. But thank you guys, Bone Collector, the principal I'm extracting from how he gets his name. Thank you very much.